if you um, follow me on Instagram, then you might have seen this uh, picture. This is a picture from Joanna Besford's latest book, Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. And I transferred it, transferred it on a, um, a pastel paper. And I'm now trying to make things work. This is the original uh, drawing. So I left out the grass, the bumblebees and the nice little toadstools on the right side. And uh, I also left out a couple of these beautiful flowers. And I transferred it to this pastel paper called Tiziano by uh, the paper company Italian one, Fibriano. Well, my Italian is uh, terrible. It should be better because classical singers are supposed to speak Italian. But I have to admit, I don't. No, I know a little bit about pronunciation and a very little bit. In this uh, pad with uh, um, pastel paper, there are several colors, as you can see, blues and browns and also blacks. But I chose a dark brown, this one. Now I can't show you the process of how I uh, got that drawing over here. Well, I can show you, but um, in, a, in a different video, I, I uh, fear. I did it with uh, tracing paper. I have a very small piece of it here. You can see through. It is so thin. And I laid that on top of the, the, the original uh, drawing in uh, Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. Then I traced it completely, then I flipped the paper and I started to trace it again, but then with uh, pastel, soft pastels. And this is my wonderful box of beautiful soft pastels from uh, the Dutch company Talens. They have this uh, Rembrandt series, professional stuff, this, very soft, beautiful. And I used it to trace on the back of this uh, piece of paper. And then I flipped it over again and put it on top of, uh, of this paper. And then I started tracing again for the third time and this time with a hard quite hard ordinary color, colored pencil with a quite a sharp point so I could and then the soft pastel that is on the back of your tracing paper will uh, be transferred to this paper I will show you in a different uh, video that's better anyway once it's here then the fun begins and I'm I'm using uh, my soft pastels and I'm using something else. Here I have my set of 72 Derwent pastel pencils. Look, it comes in this gorgeous box. It was a present from my husband. Wonderful, gorgeous box. Look at that. With 72 colors. And over here I have 90 soft pastels. And then there are two other tools that I am using. These two. These are called color shapers. They have a uh, flexible tip. And they are ideal for uh, rubbing the chalk pastels into the paper and mixing the colors together. I like using my hands, my fingers as well, but for the very detailed areas, these two are just uh, fantastic. So, the paper I am using, the Tiziano paper, 
I think it's not the best type of paper for detailed work, but this is the only type I have at the moment. So we'll have to deal with it. I am going now first um, going to use a black pencil, carbon black, to uh, give a little bit of uh, Now these pencils are quite hard and as you can see it scrapes away the, the color that is already there just a little bit. And my um, Rembrandt pastels are much softer and actually I prefer the softer pastels. And I know that is not everybody's uh, preference. I know many artists who do a lot of detailed work. For example, people who do uh, wildlife art with pastels. Many of them use the uh, pastel pencils bec because they are harder and you can um, make much more de detailed work. So I'm now using this uh, color shaper and just pressing down on the uh, pigment, on the dust, and pushing it into the paper. I have been experimenting a little bit with uh, different colors here. But I found that the dark, the darkness of the paper is such a beautiful contrast with the flowers that I want to intensify the darkness. So this blue and this beige, it's all going, it's, it needs to be gone, it needs to go, <laughs> I'm sure. Maybe a highlight here and there, but I think it needs to be, it needs to go. This is the black soft pastel. This works so beautiful. You know, and because you can rub it in and fade it, let it fade away, you can it is beautiful. You can you can mix on the paper. Look. I have to be careful so close to the flower that is uh, that is why I do use the pencils and the uh, the color shapers look at this there's another tool you can use that is your breath just blow here is a very dark brown don't ask me the exact color because I don't know I'm sure I have a uh, color chart somewhere but uh, I, d I just uh, I don't know it this looks like a CPR or something like that but I'm really not sure. Some people who work a lot with this uh, type of medium, they are a little bit concerned about the dust that c comes with this, uh, these pastels. I have to clean my uh, fingers once in a while. <laughs> And they are a little bit concerned and they say uh, the dust might irritate your, your lungs and uh, maybe even some particles might be uh, toxic. I know many uh, pastel um, companies are taking that into account and are limiting uh, 
the uh, toxic particles in their pastels. But I have to admit, every time I work with this, and I love it, but every time I start sneezing. So clearly the dust is uh, doing something. Now, because you can mix and you can layer and, uh, you, you know, you can, you can do so much. You can also experiment a little bit. I have been experimenting here with a color that doesn't seem to uh, be right. But I still have this feeling that in the background, somewhere, I need a touch of blue. Now, you know, if you are watching my channel... You know, I am addicted to blue. Blue is such a glorious color. So let's rub it in. And again, if it, in the end, this doesn't work, no problem, because I can uh, just cover it, cover it with another color. No problem. Cleaning the hands, well, pfft still looks uh, very dirty. Let's do a little bit of work here in the detailed areas. You know, if you don't want to get dirty hands, you can uh, use gloves. I see uh, artists using gloves, wearing latex gloves. I have them actually. I have been using them with a larger painting that is hanging in our uh, it's hanging in our living room. I used gloves for that one because I got tired of having to wash my hands so many times. I have a couple of minutes to go before sunset. You know, winter is coming. Winter is coming and the days are getting shorter over here. Let's add a touch of a very dark brown called Seal. Very dark brown. Now you have to... Uh, Sharpen the pencils once in a while, of course. And I have a special pastel sharpener from Derwent. These uh, pencil, these uh, color shapers are in available in many sizes, and this one is a size two. But you can get bigger ones as well but I like this uh, size too I ordered a different type of pastel paper as soon as that arrives it will arrive in a couple of weeks as soon as it arrives I will do some testing with it because I think the the other pencil or the other brand, the type of paper will work much easier. Let's add a touch of green to this leaf over here. Let's see. If you are afraid of ruining your drawing because you accidentally put your hand on it, then you can use a piece, a sheet of paper or tracing paper or any type of paper to cover 
to put uh, under your hand. Look, this is a slightly different color than uh, the pencil that I use. I, I did this with a pencil, but I, I have to say, I, I prefer these softer Rembrandt pastels, although in detailed areas like this it is, it is quite difficult. These flowers are, I believe, are called sweet peas. And they are absolutely wonderful, beautiful flowers. You can grow them yourself. And they come in many, many different colors. Absolutely beautiful. Now here I have a fresh green. So my voice is uh, <clears throat> fresh green. Now as you can see, pe uh, pencils are much easier for detailed work like this but you can do it with the larger chalk pastels it can be done I've uh, seen a review about different pastel pencils by Jason Morgan, he's a wildlife artist, makes beautiful paintings, and he works a lot with uh, pastel as well, and according to his review, almost all pastel pencils are the same, except for the... Um, Karandash pastel. Those are significantly softer. So maybe the Karandash pastels are the right choice for me because I love the softness of my Rembrandt chalk pastels, the soft pastels. So maybe I should go and look for a set. I'll put it on my Christmas wish list. Now here is the other um, color shaper. This one has a tip, a round tip. So I can push the pastel into the paper. So I cleansed it. There's a a little bit more I need to rub into the paper, but um, well, I'll 
do that uh, another time. So I hope you, I hope you liked this uh, little video and um, I hope I will be able to make another uh, video where I show you how I transfer drawings onto different paper. Um, I use the same method for this pastel drawing but also I use the same method for transferring uh, drawings onto watercolor paint, uh, watercolor paper. So um, I'll make a video about it. Bye bye!